Hello, kids. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello. How, how was your weekend? Nice. Or so nice, soft? teacher. I'm fine. I'm fine, teacher. Are you? Oh, I had a really great time. I went to um, Chalatenango to a place that is called Colima, close to Aguilares. Uh, I went to the fishing point uh, in Lempa River. So it was a beautiful, beautiful landscape. It was amazing. I thought I couldn't find any place in El Salvador like this. It was like Narnia. Do you know Narnia Chronicles, the movie? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was very close yes, to that. Yeah, it's what it was very close to that. It was like a rainbow, a rainbow, and it was like a lot of cows. I saw a white cow, and they were offering tilapia, tilapia fish, uh, fresh, mm -hmm. fresh, delicious, fish. delicious. Yeah, they have a tilapia, fresh tilapia, and the other was dried. Uh, the, I learned a new term that is um, salmuereado. I didn't hear that. <laughs> salmuereado means mm -hmm. that is salty with uh, lemon. So it's like a ceviche. It's ready to on, only mm -hmm. throw it to the to the pan with fry with uh, oil boiling to fry. It is really, really tasty, very tasty. And I spend a really good time there with nature. I love nature. I also enjoy beach, but in this time, I have to say it was really, really, really um, a surprise for me. Okay, I'm looking for the content here. Just a minute, please. Oh, I have to say something uh, in Spanish. Uh, cuando tengamos este tarea o tengamos algo que, que, que resolver, eh, si tienen dudas y preguntas, eh, please no eh, envíen las fotitos con todas las respuestas. Porque los demás que no los han reportado, que no los han contestado, pues ya no hay chiste, ¿verdad? Ya se dan cuenta que es lo que tienen que hacer y todo lo que tienen que contestar. Entonces, este, ya no lo hacen individualmente, sino que ya saben la respuesta. Y la idea es que cada quien trate de resolverlo y sepa exactamente cómo está eh, su nivel, ¿verdad? Vamos con una agenda eh, de temario. De, de la semana pasada se les compartió eh, de parte de la coordinación eh, los tópicos, ¿verdad? De cómo iban. Esta semana nos toca ya el 3, ¿verdad? Estar viendo el 3, lo vamos a empezar ahora. Y pues hay posiblemente evaluaciones incluidas, ¿verdad? En esta en esta parte entonces pues este sí eh, cada quien eh, va eh, con un ritmo verdad de tal manera que cuando nosotros terminamos ya ustedes ya lo ya lo hicieron entonces ya para que no se les acumule también verdad que ya al final pues no estén en el uno sino que el propósito es que ya vayan eh, con el con el tema que les toca. Por eso se les da la, la programación para que vean más o menos y vayan distribuyendo el tiempo. Eh, y si en algún momento, eh, si lo hacen eh, conforme los tópicos que se van viendo, es un poco, pues, digamos que si tienen dudas al momento, pues tenemos el, el WhatsApp o la clase para eh, resolver. Eh, así que solamente este, hacer ese comentario, ¿verdad? Eh, para que sepamos 
esto, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, nuestro progreso y vayamos avanzando. Okay, question. Did you did we see a simple pass the last time? Yes, right? Hello. Did we see a simple pass last time? Did, did you did you stay home on Saturday? Mm, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm saying your your what are you <laughs> talking about? You're talking about the knowledge check. Okay. Did it stay? Did you stay home on Saturday? Mm -hmm. la, the pronunciation of the stay in, in path is con T al final, como state. No, si dice así, es estado, estado de, por ejemplo, con Washington DC, state. Ah, ok, ok. Entonces, si la dice. ¿En pasado? Con, tiene que decirla con la D dormida, con una D que es la lengua entre los dientes, una D un poquito como bien como que tuviera la lengua dormida de hielo. Entonces es como sí. stayed. Stayed. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Stayed. Oh. Ok. La okay. E Thank es you. muda. En los regulares se queda la E muda. Entonces solo se, se une la Y con la D. Entonces stayed. I, I sent uh, the birds to the WhatsApp uh, on Saturday, very early in the morning, uh, previous to go to my to my trip. So I, I, I don't know if you have doubts on any pronunciation in that because they were 100 irregular and 100 regular. Uh, but all of them will, uh, were a sim, uh, present, past, uh, past participle and translation. Did you check them? No. Somebody uh, said thank you at that uh, at that time. I don't remember who, but I think yeah, you received them. Did you check them? No. Hmm. Okay. No problem. I, I left them on, on WhatsApp so you can check it twice and go back if you want to uh, repeat the pronunciation. And if you want to see how uh, can you memorize them day by day. Okay. Uh, were, you, uh, were you needing uh, help, uh, Lorena, with number two also? Number one. We already did it. Number one. Number did one. Say home on did Saturday. Was, did, uh, okay. Number two. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't call my friend with drug mm -hmm. to a coffee for lunch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that is right. It's the first one. Okay, number three. Me, teacher. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh how, how did you spend your last word? Remember uh, the D, 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 the, the... How? Mm -hmm. How did mm -hmm. you spend? Mm -mm. Remember, it is sounding like a T, like tomato. Yes. How did you spend? How did you spend, spend your last the... birthday? Spend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, How did like you a... spend mm -hmm. your last birthday? Exactly. Spend with the D, D, eh, con la D dormida. 
porque si no va a sonar como la T. La T se usa en British. No usan la ED, sino que ocupan la T. Ahí sí tendría que decir, how did you spend? Pero como estamos en inglés americano, es spend. Spend. Uh -huh. How spend. did you spend exactly. your last birthday? Exactly. That is the pronunciation. For uh -huh. I had a party. Uh -huh. Everyone. 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 Uh -huh. Everyone enjoyed. Mm -hmm. Enjoy it. Enjoy, Enjoy it. it. Mm -hmm. But the neighbors didn't didn't like the noise. Exactly. Didn't like the noise. Mm -hmm. That is the, the answer. So number five. Five. What did, did you do last night? Exactly. What did you do last night? Mm -hmm. That is easy. Number six. I went mm -hmm. go the new Jim Carrey film. Mm -hmm. I I love I love it. I loved it. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. Yes. That Did is you do? Mm -hmm. Did you do anything special over the weekend? Yes. Perfect. Yes. Number eight. Number eight. Yes, I did. I went mm -hmm. shopping. Unfortunately, I. Unfortunately. I, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. I spent mm -hmm. el pasado, ¿verdad, teacher? I spent mm -hmm. all my money. Now I'm broke. Now I am broke. Uh -huh. Broke. Uh -huh. Did you sing at the party? Exactly. Did you sing at the party? Try to pronounce the G because sing is pecado. ¿Te casaste en la fiesta? Sing. No. <risa> Did you sing? Cantaste en la fiesta. <risa> <risa> Did you sing? Exacto. Did you sing? Se Did tiene que escuchar la, la J, la es G, como, la G. No, no como J, sino no. que solo como, como que se está ahogando. Es como que... Sing. Did you sing? La G, ¿verdad? Did you sí. sing? Did you sing at the party? Did you sing at the party? No, es, no. no es como... <risa> Sino que no. did you sing? Did, did you sing? Exactly. Did, you, did sing? you sing at the party? Exactly. Did you sing at the party? Mm -hmm. No, Number I 10? didn't. No, I didn't. I was, I was sick. sick. Mm -hmm. sick. That is I exactly the, the answers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's move on to the next topic. In this, in this session, participants will listen to a conversation using past simple. Pay attention for details and pronunciation. Oh my God, is again listening. Gosh, I need Google Chrome. Mm, no, we did this, remember? It was Laura John both. Yeah, that is the last audio we had listened. Okay. Participants will have a chance to listen to a conversation where past of B is used. Yes, that was the one that we were reviewing. Mm, yeah, we did it also. It, it's about the way. We were making pronunciation and I, that's why I left the, the list of verbs. 2.9, in this session, participants will study the past of B. Question and short answers will be taught. En esta clase, los participantes estudiarán el pasado del verbo be, 
se estudiará la forma interrogativa y respuestas cortas. Ok. Let's go. Yeah. Let's uh, see this again. So we will be staying tuned. In this session, participants will study the facts of B. Questions and short answers will be taught. Hello, nice to have you back. I'll make reference of the past of the verb B. Let's start. Past of B. Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. The past of be, of, and is, was, are, were. To ask questions using the past of be, we do it this way. Was were plus subject plus complement plus question mark. Were you my student? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was she sad? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Were they late? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Remember, we use be to express feelings, conditions, states, and descriptions either in present or past. Now you try answering the following questions. Were you my student before? Were you happy yesterday? Were you late this morning? Okay, this is the use of past in verb to be. Okay. This is like a verification of the of the sentences. Were you in Brazil on vacation? Yes, I was. Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Ask the B. Were you my student before? No, I wasn't. Were you happy yesterday? Yes, I was happy. Were you late? Sorry, were you late this morning? No, I wasn't. Pass the fee. Were you my student before? Answer, yes, I was. Pass the fee. Were you my student before? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. That are the possible answers. Were you my student before? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. These are all the possible answers that we have with these kind of questions. Let me see. Next. This is a knowledge check that would be performed by you. 2.12, in this session, participants will listen to two people talking about their past vacation. Notice how they use simple past of regular and irregular and be within the entire conversation. Where is the audio? I'm not listening to that. like annoying <laughs> it's not making me uh, go 
going faster. This is the one. Where did Jason go? Okay. Let me put it on Google Chrome so you can listen to this. Okay. We will be listening to Jason and Barbara talk about the rotation. Write the answers for each person. Type in full answers. Do not forget to type a period. Listening. Welcome back. Listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacations. Complete the chart. Jason. Hi, welcome back. You were away last week, right? Yeah, I was on vacation. Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. Nice. How was it? Oh, I loved it. What did you like most about it? Well, San Francisco is such a beautiful place, and the weather was actually pretty nice. Well, that sounds more exciting than my last vacation. What did you do, Barbara? I just stayed home. I don't have enough money to take a trip anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation. I went to the gym every day, and I lost three pounds. Well, that's great. Good for you. Okay, so do you need to listen it uh, once again, or are you ready to answer the questions on the exercise? Ready to Okay. Where did Jason go? He went San to San Francisco. Okay, perfect. Uh, did he enjoy it? Yes. Yes. Yes, what? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Exactly. Period. What else? She stayed home. No. This is not the complete answer for number two. Did he enjoy it? Yes, he did. Period. Yes, he Again. did. He said yes. something. Punto, el punto final. Period. No. Este, hay, un, hay un seguimiento después del punto, como una, un complemento más que él dijo. No solamente lo dijo. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. no. Él, o sea, did he enjoy it? No, he didn't. Or yes, he did. Él dijo que sí, ¿verdad? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Y ahí, ¿qué más dijo? Dijo algo más. Oh. Sorry, I don't remember. He, he, loved, yes, it. he, he loved it. Exactly. Good job, Mauricio. He loved it. So, yes, he did. Yes, coma, he did. Period. He loved it. Punto. Ahí se punto final. That's why the instruction is use period. Porque va a pedir un poquito más de lo que se dijo. Ahora, where did Barbara go? Um, she is staying in home. Uh -huh. Okay, but 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 in the in the answer, uh -huh. I I I can uh, uh, write the correct answer. Uh -huh. I don't know why. <laughs> uh -huh. It's an informative question because he's uh, using where, so uh, we know that she didn't go to any place. He stayed, she stayed home. So, what is the answer? Where did Barbara go? Home. He didn't go anywhere. She didn't go anywhere. So, we are giving information. Where, when, what, which, how, they are informative questions. 
they are no simple yes no questions so we have to provide information and the information is not there so we have to say uh, barbara didn't go to any place or didn't go anywhere something like that we can add a period he, she stayed home la completa explicación o sea no no fue a ninguna parte se quedó en casa verdad ahora eh, le preguntan did she enjoy it le gustó no ir a ninguna parte entonces podemos decir yes she, yes, did. she did punto qué más podemos decir aparte del yes she did punto la razón por la cual nosotros aseguramos que ella sí disfrutó. Eh, dijeron que había ido al gym, ¿verdad? Que había podido ir al gym al, eh, porque se quedó en casa. Entonces, we can answer. Yes, she did, period. She went to the gym eh, every day. And that is the complete answer. It is not just yes or no. We have to give complete answers at the instruction set. Instruction, remember, is typing full answers. Do not forget to type a period. Escriba las respuestas para cada persona. Intente colocar respuestas completas. No olvide colocar punto final. Okay, now. It's good. It's good. It's good. Excuse me, uh, which is the correct, correct answer in the number three? She didn't go anywhere. She stayed uh, home. Okay, she didn't, she didn't, sorry? She didn't go uh -huh. anywhere. Okay, thank you teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Let's move to the other one. If you don't have any more questions. Um, in my case, teacher, huh? in the exercise, um, exercise, ex exercise two eleven. Uh huh. I had a a problem in the number four and number six. Two point eleven, number four and number six. Uh -huh. Okay, let me go back. Only one. Okay, you said number four, number six. Mm -hmm. Okay. Six, yes. hmm. Okay, instructions complete the following conversations. Remember to use the past of B. What is the past of B? Was. And, and where? And, and where. where? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, number one, how it is a dialogue. How long your how long? Where? Where your parents in Europe? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Letter B. They. They were there for two weeks. Exactly. And number three. Uh, were they in London? Were they in London the whole time? Uh huh. Number four. No, they. Negative weren't. form of where? Weren't. Exactly. No, they weren't. But in my case, it's incorrect. My, uh, incorrect. Your right weren't, but if it was incorrect. Incorrect. Uh huh, incorrect. Uh -huh. Okay, let me see. Let me show you the answer. Mm -hmm. Number four is mm -hmm. weren't. Weren't. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I write weren't, but it's incorrect. Mm. With apostrophe. Mm. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, I put the apostrophe, but no. Is the same correct? Let me write the. Let me write the. In the you, chat, the WhatsApp. Did Did you use the correct key of the keyboard? 
Mm. Because, because maybe you are using tilde and you are not using apostrophe. That is different. That um, could be the mistake. Okay, okay. Try to find in your keyboard if there is another key to use. For example, in this case, you can see apostrophe is a, a tilde. Es una mm -hmm. tilde la que está poniendo mi computadora y me la está poniendo mala, de hecho, la corrección. Entonces ah, okay. tengo que buscar, mire, aquí cambia. Este apóstrofe mm -hmm. es recto. Entonces, okay. it's the same as the answer that is, that is correct. Ok. Maybe that is a mistake. Uh -huh. okay. ok. And the number six, the size wasn't. The number six. Ok, Spanglish. <laughs> ok, number <laughs> six. six. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, wasn't. Ok, uh -huh. it wasn't. Uh -huh. No, I wasn't. I was in San Francisco. Ok. Mm -hmm. okay. And number mm -hmm. seven, how, wa how was it? Mm -hmm. How was it? How was number it? Eight, it was great, but it was foggy. Okay, mm -hmm. the old number nine. Were well. you away? Were you away last week? Mm -hmm. Number ten. Yes, I was in Istanbul. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I try the apostrophe now. Ah, okay. So it is correct for you. It okay. Was that. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Let me see the chat. Someone is doing some saying something. Laura Michelle, wearing. Yeah, that was the answer. Thank you, Laura. Okay, let's move again to three point. Oh, I forgot the number. Let me let me scan. Where did Jason go? Where did Barbara go? Uh huh. Escuche, escuche. Uh -huh. The session there was a conversation neighbors asking. Oh, okay. Number three. Participants will listen to the conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. There is, what does it mean there is? Do you know? There is, there are, one, any, and some. There is, is I teacher in Spanish. Uh huh. Pero I the singular. I, uh huh. Okay. There I the are singular. plural. Uh huh. I the plural. One, uno. Any. One, one. Any is cualquiera. Alguno. Mm, Any. Ah, alguno. Uh -huh. alguno. And some. Algunos. Alguno. Uh -huh. Yeah, you see. Yeah. Hay, un, algún, algunos. Okay. So that is the translation. Let's uh, go to the video and listen to this conversation. Welcome everybody to section eight. What's your neighborhood like? As we always do, we listen to a conversation in order to get ready for our topics, which will include places around town, location, and there is, there are. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any and some. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. Bye. No. Let me share it again because it is not sharing the content. I'm sorry, it is frozen. Let me see what is happening here. Mm -hmm. It's not going forward, right? So let me see, it has to go. 
Kumain. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let me see which screen am I sharing. Yeah, this is the one. So are you able to see the old lady with the young man, the blondy one? Is it you too? Yes. Okay, now now we are we are in the right one. Okay, let me play it again. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. Oh my too. God, it's finishing. A barber shop. Welcome everybody to section eight. What's your neighborhood like? As we always do, we listen to a conversation in order to get ready for our topics, which will include places around town, location, and there is, there are. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Hmm. There is. There are one. Yes. I'm okay. Let's see if we understand the the dialogue. Uh, it's a uh, I'm your new neighbor. Is uh, soy su nuevo um, vecino. So do you want, uh, uh, can anyone please uh, translate what is, what are they uh, talking about? Does anyone want to participate? No. For read the conversation or no, translate I'm the conversation? Uh, yeah, uh, first we want to translate uh, to see because uh, there is, there are, are meaning different things. So uh, I want to be pretty sure if you understand when it's about, if we're talking about singular or plural, and if you are applied it correctly, you want to do it, Laura? Okay, go ahead. Please begin the translation. Me, teacher. Yes, Laura. I see your raise. Your hand is raised. <laughs> okay. Dis Discúlpeme, yo soy su nuevo vecino, Jack. Me acabo de mudar. Uh -huh. oh, sí, le dijo, eh, yo veo una tienda. Eh, no, de... it's not yo veo. Looking for. What does it mean looking for? Buscando una. Oh, ok. Estoy buscando. buscando una Una tienda es como de, de productos básicos. Ajá, una barrotería. Ajá. Ajá. ¿Hay alguno uh, por aquí? Hay alguna, because you're talking about feminine. Uh -huh. ¿Hay, alguna? Yes, hay alguna por aquí. Uh -huh. Sí, okay. hay una en la calle Pine. En la calle Pine. No, you're, you're, tra you're translating singular, and this is there are, is plural. Hay algunas. Hay algunas exactly. en la calle. Hay algunas en la calle Pine. Pino, ¿verdad? En la calle Pino, Pine Street. Calle. Okay, and then what does it Jack uh, answering? Oh, bien, le dice. Y hay alguna eh, lavandería cerca de acá? Uh -huh. Bien, le dice. Yo creo que hay algunas 
frente no, a... that is singular. Bien, yo creo que hay alguna eh, enfrente de la, del centro de, de compras. Ajá, enfrente del, 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 ¿cómo que se llama? Del centro comercial, del centro de, ajá. Ajá, uh -huh. and then. Gracias, le dice. Uh -huh. eh, de paso. Uh -huh. A propósito. Ajá, a propósito, hay alguna. Uh -huh. Hay una. Hay una. Eh, What is a barbershop? Barbería. Ajá. En el centro comercial también. Uh, una barbería. Ajá. ¿Por qué le di, sugiere una barbería a la señora? Está muy peludo. <risa> yeah. No sabía cómo decirlo en inglés. Sí, porque lo ve que acaba de, de llegar, ¿verdad? Y entonces, este, como que le hace falta un corte, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo lo diríamos? Eh, um, uh, well, this is not polite to say that because she's like a very, a like, like a very, eh, mm, un poco long hair. No. Sure. Como oh, que, mire, se necesita un corte, ¿verdad? Sí, bien, bien, bien. <ríe> me que la señora, ¿verdad? Le está diciendo prácticamente anda, anda, este, eh, ponete decente o algo así, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, eh, sí, esa es la traducción. Jack le dice, perdón, eh, soy, el nuevo, soy su nuevo vecino. Jack, me acabo de mudar. La señora de ahí le dice, oh sí, y le dice, Jack, estoy buscando una tienda de, de una barrotería. Hay algunas eh, por aquí, o are there any, hay alguna por aquí. Le dice Mrs. Daisy, hay algunas en la calle Pine. Jack, oh, bien. Y hay una, esta es una laundromat, laundromat se es, eh, llaman las que le pone moneda. O sea que es una lavandería automática. O sea que nadie está lavando por nadie, sino que usted solito lava, ¿verdad? Usted solito pone la ropa, usted solito pone la moneda, usted le pone el detergente, usted la saca, usted la dobla, todo, todo. O sea, ahí no hay nadie que le va a ayudar a nada. Están las otras en las que son las dry cleaning, que ahí sí le van a ayudar. Ahí sí va a pagar por servicio completo, solo déjala por marchinizing. Merchandising es la compañía, pero es como otro tipo de dry cleaning, ¿verdad? Laundromat es que uno solito hace las cosas. Eh, ¿Y hay alguna lavandería cerca de aquí? Bueno, yo pienso hay una cruzando, eh, cruzando al shopping center, across. O sea que cruzando el, shop, el shopping center, pasándose de ahí, Va a llegar a una. Le dice Jack, gracias. Mrs. Day. Eh, y por si acaso, ¿verdad? Hay una barbería en, también en ese centro comercial. Y le pregunta Jack, ¿una barbería? O sea, como que no le captó. No le entendió lo que le quiso sugerir la señora. Okay. ok, yes. Across from es enfrente de. Enfrente de es in front of. Y across from? Cruzando. O sea que cruzándose la calle va ah, a encontrar. Okay. Uh -huh. Across from. Uh, o, o pasándose. O sea, a través de across from. I think there is Thank one you, across teacher. from the shopping center. O sea que no está... Eh, Exactamente en el shopping, ¿verdad? Sino que cruzándoselo la va a hallar. Pero la barbería sí queda en el, en el, en el centro comercial. En el centro comercial. Adentro. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. Es así. Yeah. Uh -huh. Any other question? No. No, teacher. Ok. So we have to be very careful with this uh, when we are pronouncing theirs or there are, 
we can say there is, but if there, the, if there is the contraction, we have to pronounce it like that. So it's there's, there's, we have to sound with the S at the end because that means it's singular. So Jack, excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh yes, I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh good, and is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Well, you can say shopping center with the T, very, very strong, or you can say center without the T, center. It's like when you say call center. You can say call center or call center. That is correct both ways. Do you have any question with the pronunciation? No? Yes? You're very quiet today. <laughs> very quiet. Hey, what if I put you to pronounce? I'm pretty sure you will be making mistakes, kids. Okay. So let's choose someone randomly. Erica, you're Mrs. Day. And uh, Rogelio, do you want to play Jack? Okay, let's let's uh, let's um, let's do the dialogue. Your beginning, Rogelio. Um, Mr. Day? Mr. No, me. You're Jack. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Excuse me. Uh, your new new word, Jack, and just no, moving. No, 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 no. I'm your new neighbor. Mm -hmm. Neighbor, neighbor, okay. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I am your neighbor, Jack. Mm -hmm. I just moved in. Moved in. Moved in. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Day. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Mm -hmm. Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Some. 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 It's like you're singing a song. No, okay. some. Yes, there are some on Pine uh -huh. Street. Exactly. Uh -huh. Oh, good. I am. And is there a long drum? Laundromat. Laundromat near. Here? Mm -hmm. Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay. If you're saying chop, chop is tasajear carne. Con el sentido, <laughs> desesperadamente. Entonces, if we are saying shop, sh, como sh, that is shopping, that is shop. buying. Okay. Shop. So if you say shop, con ch, eso no es eh, comprar, eso es eh, destazar carne. O sea, con un cuchillo así por trozos. Entonces no se entiende. A barber shop, no, a barber shop. A barber shop. See, like shh, like when you are shh, be quiet. No, it's shop. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was right. You shop. are, you're not, and this is a very, very easy dialogue. Okay, mm -hmm. let's go with, um, thank you for the participation. Let's choose another one. Okay, let's see the list. Uh-huh. 
Rachel, do you want to play Macy's Day? Good evening, yes. Good evening, thank you. And then I would choose a, a man for Jack. Mm, Rene Antonio. Are you there? No. She's yes. here. Okay, okay, you're Jack. Okay, let's begin with Jack. Mm -hmm. Rene, we are waiting. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, right now. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I, your name, are your new neighbor, Jack? I just moved in. Mm -hmm. I just oh yeah just moved just in. in. Mm -hmm. Oh I yes. Just moved in. Mm -hmm. I look oh, for. Yes. No 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 no. Okay. You're playing only Jack Rene and Mrs. Day is Rachel. Ah okay. Okay, let's go, uh, Rachel. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. I looking for a grocery store. Mm -hmm. Are there any around here? Mm -hmm. Yes, there are some in Pine Pin Street. Pine Street. Pine Street, sorry, sorry, mm -hmm. Pine Street. Okay, Jack, it is, I'm looking for a, a grocery store. Are there any, not any, any is a name, any around here? Oh, good. Mm -hmm. um, is there a laundromat near here? Mm -hmm. Well, I think there is one across from the shopping I center. I think, yeah, Rachel, I think. There is, there is one. There's. Across from, mm -hmm. there is. Mm -hmm. Some. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Well, I think there is one across from the shopping center. Okay, uh-huh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. By the way, there is a barber shop by in the shopping way, center too. By the way? And there is. No. There is. There's. There is. There is. There is a barber shop. There is. It has to sound, uh, it has to sound uh, the same. Uh, uh, al mismo, como al mismo, eh, como la misma, el mismo eh, eh, toma de aire. There's. 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 Mm -hmm. There's. Ah, mm -hmm. sí, como al final. There's. There's a barber shop okay. in the shopping center, too. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> By the way, there's barber shop. There's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. Correct. Mm -hmm. A barber shop? A barber shop. A barber shop? Exactly. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank the last you. ones. The last one, we have five minutes to go. Let's go with... Uh -huh. Let's Me. See. Me, Victoria, okay. And the other one... Hi, teacher. Huh? Who said that? Let me see. Christian. Okay, Christian. Okay, you're Jack Christian and uh, Victoria is Mrs. Day. Okay. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. I just Boom. moved in. Moved in. Oh, yes. Oh, that, that sounded laughing. really strong, Mrs. Day. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh-huh. I am uh -huh. looking for a grocery store. Mm -hmm. Are no. there I am, no. I am, no. This is contraction. I'm. I'm. Uh -huh. I am. Look, I am looking for a grocery store. Mm -hmm. Are there any around here? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, there are some on Pine Street. Uh huh. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Mm -hmm. Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. 
Perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. Mm -hmm. A barber shop? Perfect. Clapping. Almost perfect. Okay. I want to uh, to um, to focus on uh, their good uh, good way to finish sentences. Remember, we have just seen that when we are going to period, we are going down on our accent. So is I just moved in? No, I just moved in. It's like you're ending a sentence. And I so these these last uh, people participating made exactly the right intonation on that. So so uh, you have to to just not read for reading. Is like sound like very uh, confident and as if you are playing the real dialogue. So is excuse me. You can say excuse me. Someone is asking. Is is uh, taking attention. Excuse me, um, your new neighbor, yet. It's a comma there, so it's a pause. Christian did that. I just moved in, okay, period. That is going down. Oh, yes? It's a question mark, so it's, oh, yes? Uh, she's attending, Mrs. Day is attending. Jack, I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? It's going up because of the question mark. Yes, comma, there are some on Pine Street going down. Oh, good, oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Question mark again, it's going up. Well, pause, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Okay, thank you, that is totally, Grave, verdad? Thank you. No, it's, thank you. No, thank you. By the way, comma, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. Antes de ese tú va una pausa porque hay una coma. Es la misma coma en español. Se hace una pausa en español cuando se está leyendo. Um, a barber shop is like. ¿Cómo dice que dijo? O sea, a barbershop. O sea, ¿qué me estás tratando de decir? Es como no captó el pobrecito, ¿verdad? Que la señora le estaba criticando. Ok, I congrats the last uh, two people because they, ok, Rachel, do you have a question? Yes, um, quizá para tener una mejor idea de las contracciones, ¿verdad que? Para hablar más rápido, hacen las contracciones y que la siguiente palabra después de la contracción sea más, más rápida. No sé, es como, eh, veo el ejemplo aquí de there's one, ¿verdad? O sea, y también I'm looking for, I'm looking for. O sea, que es esa, ese, ese pasito de la oración es como la rápida para hablar más rápido, pienso yo, es así. Mm. Para hacer más fácil la, 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 um, el hablar o el pronunciar bien las contracciones. Um, let me see. I'm looking for yes, there are so many. I think there's one. Sí, es como que sí se une una sola palabra, pero hay que tener cuidado porque, uh -huh. por ejemplo, quiero ver. Let me use the chat here. Por la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Sí, porque, por ejemplo, si lo fuéramos... Eh, si fuéramos By the a, way, there's a... Vaya, sí, si leyéramos, por ejemplo... Eh, there's one. Estamos haciendo una contracción más la palabra one, ¿verdad? There's mm -hmm. one. There's mm -hmm. one. Entonces, ahí sí, ahí sí, entendiéndolo como un sonido en español, en español para poderlo pronunciar. Pero en inglés um, solamente es como eh, seguir lo que, lo que está leyendo, no importa si sigue con la misma letra o la misma 
para que no se unan, porque muchas veces tenemos sonidos diferentes. Por ejemplo, I'm your, uh -huh. o sea, termina en consonante y empieza en, en, en una vocal. Entonces ahí es como bien difícil porque I'm cierra los labios. En cambio uh -huh. en your es como poner la boca un poco más eh, hacia afuera. Entonces okay. igual son como posiciones de la boca que, que, que cambian de un momento a otro y que pues es como que como cuando le dicen a uno bailar, ¿verdad? O sea, después de un paso va el otro y es como que si no van seguidos hay que poner otra, otra posición de brazos, piernas, lo que sea. Entonces okay. ahí hay solamente ejercitando el, el hablar hablar, uh -huh. ir leyendo en voz alta eh, eh, porque yo, yo, yo sé que si paso la lección, se quedan con el, con el deris y el y deris no, ¿verdad? o sea, uh -huh. there's, ajá, there's. Eh, se quedan también con el um, quiero ver qué otro le oí que le costó el I just just, just, just moved ese, la de moved, otra uh -huh. vez la de dormida, moved eh, no, y la E muda, la moved, a la, aquí la O de move no es doble O, U, generalmente la doble O es U, pero aquí el verbo con una O se pronuncia como U, entonces no es I moved, es I moved in, entonces todas esas cosas solamente es eh, leyendo, leyendo en voz alta y... Uh -huh. Y oh, nuevamente, ¿verdad? Terminamos, tenemos que terminar bien las, las, los finales para eh, saber qué estamos diciendo. Esto de chop es eh, bien, ¿verdad? Eh, no, no, no puede ser, ¿verdad? Tiene que ser shh. Ese sonido de shh solo lo tenemos para callar gente. Es lo único. Uh -huh. eh, y este SH a nosotros en El Salvador no viene de náhuatl. Al huaste, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Eh, no sé qué otro coach quiero ver show allá. bueno el que se me ocurre es el al guayste dicen algunos vea pero el al guayste mm -hmm. ese es un sonido náhuatl que lo podemos hacer porque está en nuestro en nuestra el mish, el mish también pero porque mm -hmm. el gato en en en, en no, náhuatl mish. mistu mistu mm -hmm. entonces la gente dice mis mis Quiere emular lo que aprendieron de los ancestros, que se llama eh, gato en, en, en náhuatl, es mistu. Entonces, uh -huh. este, por eso dicen mish. Pero hay gente que en vez de decir mis, dice mish, mish. Por eso, en el guaste, mistu, eh, shawa, shawa es adiós. Shawa, shawa en náhuatl. Bueno, ya, un poquito de náhuatl, ¿verdad? Este, <laughs> eh, <laughs> thank you, Deja. Hey, you're welcome. I received class from Nahuatl. If you are interested, I can refer to you to Nahuatl classes. Nahuatl yeah. language. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, any other question, Pete? No? Yes, because it's almost uh, five minutes more, but it's okay. No problem. I think it's a really good question. Thank you. Uh, Rachel for pointing and be interested in, in pronouncing uh, really well. So kids, please, please review the, the, the link for YouTube verbs so you will be listening more how to pronounce and how the correct uh, sounding of the, of the verbs. That is a must, a must for English. So I will uh, wait for you tomorrow, same time, 9 p.m. Please be on time. And any question you have, please just type me in WhatsApp and I will be attending, okay? Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.